Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I was working on something a bit time sensitive for the last couple of weeks, uh, but we're back here for episode four in our video series where we go from an idea to the app store. Today is about design. We're getting started with Sketch and we're gonna start with the onboarding screen. So let's get into Sketch and let's get designing. So let's get started. I've just reopened the same sketch file, you know, we were using it for the mood board in the last episode. So this is where we kept all the um, all the images that I found that I liked during the research phase. Um, so using the same file and I've just basically added um, the logo I'm using on, uh, on my mom's YouTube channel that we're going to need and a blank template for an iPhone X. Um, I like to design on iPhone X just because it's the latest phone and I want to make sure the app look, looks really good at least on um, on iPhone X. Uh, well, looks good at least with my, my design skills. We'll see what we can do together. Alright, so um, for this specific video what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the onboarding flow. So onboarding, just a super simple tutorial probably one screen and three uh, swipeable label, a logo somewhere and a button to get started. So I'm going to start by um, doing the background. So I like to use gradients. So we're going to start with this. Uh, I'm just going to try and find some nice colors and we will see how it looks. Okay, so this is pretty good. Um, next step, what I want to do here is add some kind of, I want to make sure people get that it's a piano related app. The moment they end up on the app. So what we're going to do is add some kind of overlay here with some piano notes. Uh, and I think I had found some nice image um, here, it's a PNG that we can probably reuse. So if I paste this, uh, obviously it looks terrible right now, but let's try and make it work. And I have no idea which track is this, maybe some people will recognize it if you're very good, I don't know, let's see, that'd be interesting. Actually, let's not make it recognizable. Just gonna blur that background. All right, this is this is pretty good. So we have the piano feel straight away. We know it's gonna be about piano. Um, all right, next, let's drop the logo in somewhere. I'm gonna send to this. Let's okay um, next I want to make sure people get that it's going to be for piano sheets uh, obviously this I mean nobody knows what my uh, my mom's logo is nobody's going to recognize that um, so obviously the title and the description of the app will, will show that it's about piano sheets um, but I'm just going to make it a subtitle here so that it's super clear that people download something um, and they know what they're getting into basically so I'm not going to use the same font. I have a font that I like called Lato or Lato, I'm not sure how, how to pronounce it. So obviously all this might change. Uh, for now I'm just dropping the elements. That's always the way I handle my design process. Uh, usually <laughs> I have no idea how I'm do what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just dropping all the elements in and then um, it usually looks ugly. <laughs> and then we, we try and, and improve um, step by step basically. So a subtitle, what we need is a um, is a button, so the button is going to lead to the, the screen where we'll see all the piano sheets, probably a collection view or something. So I'm just going to lock that background so that it stops bothering me. Okay, so 
a button here. So I'm not gonna put it too down because I know the iPhone X has some kind of um, the bottom layout that we need to respect. Um, I don't own one myself, so it's a bit hard to to know exactly. But. Let's have a look. Corner radius. Don't really need a shadow here. It's the background's black anyway, or dark. Okay, so next we're going to add some colors to these buttons. And uh, this button. Let's have a look. I'm gonna use another gradient here. And I'm gonna use it not in that direction. So I found some nice colors just before, let's have a look. of that just to say that this is going to piano sheets That's pretty good. And then the last piece here that I want to add, um, it's basically a swipeable type of, I think it's called page control on iOS. It's just a swipeable with um, kind of layout with three dots and you just can swipe left and right. Um, so I'm just gonna see if Sketch has a, has a custom element for me. Otherwise we'll do it ourselves. We can use that, but delete part of it. Detach from symbol, and we want the dots. I'm gonna just extract this bit. I don't need the rest. And so I'm going to make the first one super white. And this needs to go. And these guys are a bit more opaque so that the background reflects what the hell. a good margin we want it to be visible that this is something people can swipe this is way too big all right 
and then we basically just need to show a a label here and then I'm not yet sure exactly what we're gonna find but I'll I'll just find three like three elements we want to talk about this is a YouTube channel I make the like my mom makes the the piano sheets uh, and she composes them and then they're available for sale blah 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 whatever we'll find something so let's just add a label So you will find that I'm terrible with fonts. Um, I'd need to find best practice. If you have best practice on fonts and how to pick the right fonts, drop them in the comments. I need to learn on that stuff. <laughs> so let's just put some dummy text for now. YouTuber and pianist. Um, Okay, so I'm just gonna drag that back in the frame. And I think it's pretty good. Just need a bit bigger, I guess. Um, we will adapt the, um, the font size dynamically based on, um, based on the device uh, that's in use. Like obviously the iPhone X has a, um, the width is, is, is shorter. So we have less space and uh, for iPads, we have a lot more room. So we'll have to work out exactly what, um, what we want to do there. But I mean, I think that looks pretty good. This is way too big, actually. I usually keep my buttons between 44, which is the recommended size by Apple, I believe, and 50 pixels in height. Um, I think 44 is a bit small, like if you like this kind of tiny. Uh, to me, it feels like iOS 7, <laughs> so I like to make them a bit bigger. Um, but that's really, really up to you. So here we go. Cool. So this is basically our onboarding screen. What's going to happen uh, is that we're going to duplicate this three times to have. I like to to see everything. Um, every single screen or at least variant of screens like for, for example here we'll have um, we'll have three different um, labels and then sometimes when I'm not ready I just add myself some to do's so here I'm just gonna say replace the label and I keep that for later because like when I'm doing design I don't want to start messing around with the uh, with the rest, but at least we know that we're gonna have three screens, it's gonna be swipeable, and then we'll have a button, and that's gonna to lead to the next um, to the next screen. So, I mean, I think that's a good start. So let's leave it to that for now, and then we'll worry about the rest in the next video. All right, so we're done with the onboarding design. I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's super simple, but that's what we need, the super, super simple tutorial. We really wanna avoid having friction um, straight away when user uh, launched the app. So I think that's good enough. Um, in the next videos, what we'll do is that we'll just take the next screen and start designing that. I don't know how many screens we can fit per video. I'm not yet sure exactly about the length. Yeah, stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. That's going to help the channel a lot. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see the next episodes. I'm releasing them one by one. So um, really stay tuned and um, and yeah, we chat soon. See ya.